you've seen an uptick in minutes with Darnell Nurse out of the lineup before. Uh, I assume you're comfortable with, you know, filling in there if, if need be and taking some more minutes. Yeah, uh, like you say, the last couple of games of the regular season, me and uh, CC got to play together. So I think that was good for when a situation like this arises and we're comfortable and uh, just a little bit of experience together goes a long way. So, uh, yeah, ready to go. Uh, what's the balance between, you know, Darnell, there's a big part of things around here. Yeah. But I know when guys aren't playing, you kind of got to forget they exist for the night. Yeah. Uh, how do you balance that when the guy's your a leader on the team? Yeah, I think. Uh, not going into it thinking I'm trying to replace Nursey. He's a, he brings a lot to the table for the team and does a lot of different things at a high level. And uh, I think for me, it's just going in with the mindset of using using my tools that make me successful. And you know, I'm I'm going to get more more of a role out there, be on the ice a lot more, play to, play against different players than I've seen a lot of this series. So those are just little things that I uh, uh, make myself aware of. You played in some pretty big games just a year ago uh, in Montreal. Does that you know, is there something in your, does that make you a better player tonight in an elimination game? Yeah, I think so for sure. You know, uh, it was our first round last year. We were down 3-1 to the Leafs, and uh, we came back and ended up winning that one in seven. So it's it definitely helps you. You, you think of those moments, and it, it makes you feel good. Like, you don't feel any, any quit in the room and in yourself personally. And you come and, and then put your work boots on and, and make sure you're sharp and ready to go. And uh, you just trust our system. You know, we're a good team and uh, feel good about things. What do you sense from your group early in games here where you're not getting the foothold that you want? Do you sense nerves or what do you think is happening? No, I think, uh, I don't know if it's one thing in particular I can pinpoint, you know, it's just everyone as a group collectively we're a little hesitant in different areas and we end up spending more time than we'd like to in our own zone and, and we've allowed the other team to score first and I think that's just been the difference in games and then, you you know, you're working from behind so it's a, it's a different feel than, than when you're protecting the lead for sure. It feels like it's kind of a turf war for zone time, right? Like yeah. It's tough to get it in there and tough to keep it in there. Um, when you're playing against a team that, that plays that way as a defenseman, what do you have to make sure you're doing? Uh, you know, as a group, we talk about it's tight gaps, forwards coming back for support, and you want to have all, always always good numbers above the puck in between our net and, and uh, the puck. So I think those are just some pretty basic things that you you got to look after and then it puts yourself in a good spot. Brett, from uh, team meeting yesterday and travel day to team meeting today and morning skate, what's your sense of the pulse of the team right now? Uh, we're ready to go. We know the job that needs to get done, and and it's it's do or die situation now. And uh, you can get a lot of adrenaline going, and a lot of power going from being in that situation. So that's what I feel in the room amongst the guys. Everyone seems uh, very focused. Is there a lot of talking going around, or is it just kind of calm before the storm kind of? Yeah, deal? a little calm before the storm. You know, guys are going through their routines, their preparations, and and uh, doing what they need to do. There's no. No extra joking around, not too much of that. It's it's crunch time and everyone's uh, everyone's dialed in. Is this the start of the games? Is it? Is there anything that a team or a coach can do to, to get things? Is it? I mean, it's obviously not as simple as just putting on some Motley Crew and banging a stick yeah. over the wall. <laughs> no, we've tried that. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's just you got just starting on time. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's. The game, it, it sometimes games just fly by quick, and next thing you know, you look at the clock, and there's five minutes left to go in the third. And so I think it's utilizing those first couple shifts, and even if your your legs feel a little heavy, it's in sprint in a couple areas, get your legs going, get the blood pumping, and and set the next line up for a good shift. You know, get pucks in in deep and make a smart change, and just slowly build on things. From your perspective, I mean, what's the experience other than being down three two? The experience of coming to Edmonton and the stretch drive and then the playoffs for yourself. Uh, it's it's been awesome, you know. It always kind of makes the hair stand up on the back of your neck, and in the building in Edmonton when we're you know the puck's about to drop and the, everyone's on their feet and they're excited to get going. And uh, yeah, it's it's emotional for sure. Brad, I apologize if you've been asked this or a similar question, but I wonder about the pair of you and CC. Like, how do you guys complement each other uh, well and, and try to? I think uh, strength of our game. We're we keep it simple, and at this time of year, you know, simplicity is, is key, and it it leads to big plays. You know, it's those it's those six foot passes or winning the extra battle, and and uh, just positionally, I think we stay sound and we support each other really well, and those that's what allowed us to have success in the last couple of games we played together, and uh, we're looking to pick back up on that. Thanks, Brett. Okay, thanks.